Hey guys, it is Jem, and uh, um, I am here today to um, just show you a little haul that I got, a book haul, um, while at my local um, used bookstore, which is inside of our public library, and also from a small, not really small, it's actually quite big, um, from a local pharmacy that's like down the street. Like a very old school pharmacy that carries, you know, all sorts of things, not just um, pharmaceuticals. So, whew, I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. I don't know why I did that. But um, I wanted to show you the stuff that I got. Um, a lot of the books that I found, they're all really cheap, like a dollar and under pretty much. But um, a lot of them are like on topics that are very much outside of the norm for me. So that's really exciting. Um, but with them, I got this calendar from the pharmacy for free. He was like, here, take a calendar. And, um, it's so nice. Like, it's got, let's see, expla explanation as to how you can make a practical use of the signs of the zodiac as shown in your American Almanac calendar. And so it's got all this information about astrology. I mean, seriously, a lot of it. That's all about just astrology, the zodiac. And it's amazing. It talks about everything. And month after month, um, there is a, that's the pharmacy I got it from. <laughs> but um, it's got all this information for each day based on like the signs and the energy and everything. And um, I think that's really cool that my pharmacy was giving those away. I mean, how awesome is that? So I gladly took one. Um, so there was that. And that was free. He was just like, here, take this. Um... So, this is a book I got um, called A History... This is very much outside of my norm of purchasing. But I got um, A History of God, The 4,000-Year Quest of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Islam. So that's really cool. Um, it's all about the Abrahamic faiths and their journey throughout time. That'll be really interesting to look through, especially to see how they mention pagans. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then, um, oh, I've been really, really wanting to make videos since I started my channel, and I haven't yet. But I've been wanting to make videos on parallel mythology, like gods that are that seem the same throughout mythology, um, different cultures, and like how does the human psyche tap into these like archetypal gods? And I kind of found a book that touches on it called Parallel Myths. Um, a fascinating look at the common threads woven through the world's greatest myths and the central role they have played through time. So that'll be really neat to read. Um, it was only a dollar. So that was really cool. Um, it's a lot of words in here. I mean, like, the font's kind of small, so that's exciting. Um, I, a book I already own, actually, is, um, The Four Agreements. And I already own it. <clears throat> but every time I see it, I always pick up a copy again because I'm always giving it away to someone because I think that the four agreements are just so amazing. If you haven't read them, um, you really should check it out. It's it's an amazing book, totally accessible, so simple to read, like really simple language. Um, so the four agreements. Um, oh, this was not a book haul. This is a DVD that my friend got me while we were there. Um, it's a cartoon. Um, Los Campiones. I don't know why I'm showing you that, but there you go. It's a masked wrestling cartoon. Don't judge me. Um, oh, this was like, particularly exciting to see in my library. My eye is so itchy. Uh, to see in my library, and I was like, must buy this now. Um, a book by Raymond Buckland, who I've never actually read because he just seems so stuffy and talks about topics that I generally don't care about, if I'm going to be honest. But I'm finally going to check him out. Scottish Witchcraft, from which I understand he does a lot. The History of Magic of the Picts, which are, of course, like the Celtic Scots. Um, so that's really cool. He's on the back looking very crazy. <laughs> I love it, though. Um, so that'll be really neat. I hope it goes a little bit beyond, like, 101 Wicca just with the mask of Scottish witchcraft, because that would be really annoying. I hate when books do that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I actually got a Christian book. Um... Besides the history of God, right? I actually got a book that's geared towards Christians. Because I'm growing. <laughs> Getting past my resistance to that faith. And uh, 
damage that it has done. Um, Unleash the Untamed Faith Within. When I read the title, you'll see, oh, of course you got that gym, warrior. The Barbarian Way <laughs> by Erwin Raphael McManus. McManus? And uh, I got it because, again, it's talking about the Barbarian Way. And, you know, I'm all about, like, the warrior paths and things like that. And I thought, you know, even if it's from a Christian perspective, there'll still be good things to glean out of it. And it's so small. And it, I got it used. So there's this letter that someone wrote to their friend in the beginning of it. And that just gave it a lot of charm to me. And kind of sad that their friend got rid of it, I guess. But there's, like, highlighted parts that this person thought was particularly of importance to them. So that's really cool to look at. So I'm excited, actually, to really read that. Um, I got quite a bit, you guys. It was exciting. I got The Real World of Fairies, which is a book that I have seen, if you can see that, uh, that I've seen quite a bit um, over the years, but have never gotten. Can you see that? There you go. And uh, it's just a book about fairies and their mythologies. And again, this was used, so it's got all these underlinings in it for people who were like, finding things important. Like I opened up to one just now that this person had underlined and it says, we live in a world of form and they live in a world of life. That's pretty cool. I can see what I underlined that for. Um, I got a book that's very much outside of my norm. It's a little conspiracy theorist-ish, but I thought, hey, what the hell not? It's called The Dark Messiah and it is magic, gnosis, and religion. And it's very much about like how there's actually witchcraft in the Bible and a uh, proceeds to tell you where and how and everything. Um, I thought that would be fun to read, too. A lot of Christian-oriented books. Um, I got a very small, almost a pamphlet, called Grimal Grimalkin, I guess? Grimalkin? The Witch's Cat. Uh, power Animals and Traditional Magic. And I'm all about me some power animals. I really love animals. And this is all about just cats, and I have two cats, so I thought that would be nice to read. Maybe have some good information to glean from it. Um, I got a book, which is, again, kind of like a folder pamphlet, not really quite a book, um, especially with this cover, called Ancient Sun God from 1956 um, by Hilton Hotema. And really what it is, it's not really quite a book, um, it's very much like typed, not actual script, so that's cool. Like not like the way things look now. Very much typed onto paper. And which is cool. But uh it's from nineteen fifty six and it is this person's like almost like a thesis actually on the ancient sun god and they do a lot of parallel mythology, astronomy, astrology, um, all these things that are uh about the sun, sovereignty, Christianity and the sun god. That'll be cool to read. But it's just a person from 1956 talking about what they've discovered about the sun god. And I thought that that would be ridiculously interesting to read. I um, thought that would just be really cool. So I got that. That's exciting. And then lastly, a book that I'm actually probably the most excited for. Um, called Replenish. 33 Openings to the Sacred. Um, by Julie... Bucky, um, with a whole bunch of contributors, and this book seems really cool, um, really cool, it's, like, it's awesome, it's got all these beautiful, beautiful, like, mandalas in it, and, um, they all mean something different, and they're in some kind of Middle Eastern tongue, I'm not sure what, maybe Arabic, I'm not sure, like, Al Basit and Al Kabid, I think, is how you'd say that. It's expansion and constriction. And there's like a poem um, beside the mandala. And, um, oh yeah, see, he's talking about Allah. Like Allah, Allah from the Quran. So yeah. Um, that's really cool. And there's like the Quran beside the Bible verses that correspond. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Showing the parallels between them. That's beautiful. But it talks about all sorts of things. Like life and death and forgiveness. Um, kindness, endurance, resurrection, the Alpha and the Omega. Huh. 
Accountability, security, failing, power, utmost, infinite abilities, existence, holiness, dependability. Oh, and these are all, all these, all these, what is it, 33 openings to the sacred are written by a different person. So that's cool. Of different faiths, I presume, as well. Oh, yeah, see, there's like a very Jewish looking mandala. Oh, with um, stuff from the Torah, the Quran, and the, and the Book of Psalms, which is from the Bible. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm very excited for this book. Oh, a book, look, a mandala for forgiveness. That's actually, oh, this, is, this is quite cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, I just wanted to share that little bit with you, though. Um, that's just a little haul that I got that I thought was awesome. Oh, also, actually, I will include in this haul two purchases that I recently made from Starry Eyed Supplies by Joey Morris, who is fantastic. If you haven't checked out Starry Eyed, Supp uh, Starry -eyed Supplies, um, I'm going to link them down below for you because they're that amazing. Um, but let me show you what I got if I can get to them. Um, let's see. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> um, I got her mini Ogum kit, and if you watch my last video that I'm putting up the same day as this one actually, which is the YouTube Pagan Challenge, I talk about divination, and I talk about how Ogum is my favorite form of divination. Well, Joy Morris of Story of Supplies makes this mini Ogum set, which is adorable. It's so cute. Um, they are so adorable. They're so tiny. So mini. And of course, they have the etchings of the ogum, which is normally seen like that. So, it's so cute. They're so cute. I just love them, and I definitely want to use them more for just like drawing one and getting a reading kind of thing, you know. So that's adorable. And then I got this candle. Oh, made of beeswax. See how it's like rolled. She's amazing. And there's these beautiful little stones that she puts in them. Um. That's gorgeous. And this was, oh, I forget the actual name. Oh, forgive me. Forgive me, Joey. But, uh, it's something like the Blade of the Morgan, I think. Blade of the Morgan or Shield over Morgan. I think it was like Blade of the Morgan or something like that. Oh, now I forget. But it had to do with the Morgan and, uh, like the warness of the Morgan, so I definitely wanted it, being a warrior centric pagan and being a follower of my beautiful mother Morgan. I definitely had to get this candle. It's like red and glittery. Do you see that? And it's like honeycomb looking. It's so beautiful. I haven't had the, I've had it for quite a few weeks now, but I haven't had the heart to use it, actually burn it because it's so gorgeous. And I know I could just get more products, more candles from her, but it's like, this one's so, it's just such a work of art, and I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> um, but I really love it. And, um, she's ridiculously kind. And, uh, I really like the interactions that I've had with her and the purchases that I've made from her store. Um, I just put in a custom order for another, for something else, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I can't talk enough about that website, actually. You should check it out. She's really amazing at what she does. Um, and it, oh, it's not just stuff that she's throwing together, you know, she's really putting her heart and soul in this stuff and you can feel it. Like you can feel her energy from it, her love, her, the, the, the time really that she puts into it. So that's amazing. Um, I love it. But anywho, that's, uh, that's my little haul, my witchy haul. And, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe it gave you some jumping off points to go do your own shopping. <laughs> um, Anywho, that's it, you guys. Hope you are wherever, uh, where that shit that I just messed up my own outro that I say, like, every time. Oh, my God. Anyway, I hope wherever you are that you're well. Namaste and ashe. Peace out, Girl Scout.